You can take, you can take, you can take your time, baby, in slow motion. Put this plant between your lips, baby. You. Who's <laughs> Jane? You asked for it. I will fight with honor. All right. How, what is my goal in this matchup? Yeah, so I think I chuck all this back for my early controlly bits, which would be, yep, hydrologist. Mm. Coffee's a brown. Still got my coffee mug. Good. Hello. Hello. Well met. So in this matchup, there there's two kinds of mages in this world. Both of them are assholes, but there's there's two kinds of mages in the world. One of them is um, secret mage, and the other is control slash burny mage. Not like a feel the burn burny mage. I'm talking about like they just try to shoot you in the face until you're dead sort of mage. And so the big goal that I have, generally speaking, ooh, is I want to um, have big burst heals. And also Hydrologist, eye for an eye, is very good in the burn matchup. Other than that, it's sort of like a very grind... Mm. I really do want my burst heal, aka the forbidden healing. Because weirdly, it's easier to do healing as a paladin than as a priest. So this, this to me would say, this is a burn mage, right? So I want to wait a little bit before I, I do anything dramatic. The This is potentially a game ender if I just, you know, hit him with a... Uh, Pull his Alexstrasza down. That would work great. Whoops, did I close my deck character? Thank you. God, my Explorer has been shitting the bed lately. I have to close my Explorer like three times a day now. Just hard locks, man. Scoodle Poo, what kind of giant Celeste have you been running? <laughs> it's not going to load properly, don't mind me. We vengeance. Kengar Hungar. So I'm going to go ahead and continue to build a board presence. So if he Frost Nova Doomsayers, I think that it is correct for me to just rip down the Dirty Rat. Excuse me, you are on fire. All right, so this is this is. There's never been a better time to go for face. Okay, so that's an ice barrier. On turn eight, we're looking to do a Dirty Rat. Turn 8 is the big turn to deny Alexstrasza, or I should say to maximize the probability that we will deny Alexstrasza. Hmm. Perhaps he's a freeze mage? Okay. So I'm going to do this, because depending on what it is, we can easily just stampede and cut of this. Interesting.
So he has he has no more. He has no more Doomsayers. Um, we expect to see some more Drawy Bits in there. Um, he, he does not look like the Burn Mage. He actually looks like traditional Freeze, which is has some popularity right now. Which I'm thrilled about because I like Freeze Mage. I think it's a really fun deck. Give him one card off this, yeah. We really need to get him sufficiently low that we can run out eye for an eye, because that's like a very significant win condition. This sucks. I think this is the play. I think we first coin. We do this. And then we... Reduce this jerk down. The problem is that it's very possible that he can just kill us right here. And um, the, the, I already had everything I needed to deal with it, so there's no need to spend a huge amount of mana to do that. But I want to draw right now because there's two enormous sources of healing left in my deck. One is the Ivory Knight, one is the Forbidden Healing. And this, this has been the story of whenever I've been playing against Freeze Mages or any such mage. It's only about can I get my opponent... Um, or excuse me, can I get my healing up? That's it. Rodnox says, why not put him to five and just uh, put out eye for an eye? We've seen a fireball already. We've do. seen a frostbolt. I'm 50% I'm sure we saw a frostbolt, but we've seen a fireball already. So it's very difficult for him to be able to just roast us right away. And so what I want to do is I want to maximize the probability that I can set him to one. Okay, so if I equality right now... Equality, and then I will go... Yep. So we do this, we go equality. We go... One here. Warning! Do not touch. The battle! Oh. And we're at least doing this, right? Then this makes it very hard for us to lose. Let's turn the pile pot. Yeah. So this is why we didn't eye for an eye last turn. Simply put. I wonder. This is going to be very hard for him to win, given that if we ever take damage, he dies. Feels good. Eater of Secrets still poses a problem for us, but, you know, I think we're adequately set up to play around that. Ghost in the Ass wait, if I'm paying $4.99 a month, why does it show me being Twitch Prime? If you're using Twitch Prime anywhere on the site, it shows up. He knows what's up. Close choice, yeah. 
But, uh... Eater of Secrets is still an issue for us, for sure. Okay. Okay. I wonder. Hmm. I like control paladin. I feel like I am in control. Bring it on. Boom. I'm healed, bitch! <laughs> Such a stupid thing to say. I like this Amazon Prime thing? Hell yeah, Day9 super fan. Hell yes! It looks like someone just took a big crater out of my hair right here. Fix that. Okay. So we're not attacking into that, right? We need to build a more significant board in order to feel comfortable doing that. I wonder. We need to be able to deal a bit more damage than is there. And he has no doomsayers. He needs one of his huge burn spells in order to fight against that. We won. Now we won. Now I'm convinced that we won. It's going to take a few turns. We're just going to have to go pass, 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 but... people. Let's get this guy up. Ooh, man. He's gonna... Wow. Man. Man, oh man, oh man, oh man. This is, this is good. This is a good situation. Nothing's happening. We're not doing anything in this moment, necessarily. Do. I don't care, though. Do. I'm a bear who don't care. I'm gonna go ahead and get some coffee while he wallows. What's been going on? Ah, yes, very well. Let's do this. Well, hero power, end turn, we have coffee. Ah, yes. An ice block. Ice block. Alright, well, we got a 1 1 out. I love Control Paladin. Control Paladin, one of my favorite archetypes ever. Shadow. Um, yeah, maybe. It might be my favorite. I've been sort of alternating about what I think my favorite is. This rope BM. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't mean to BM. I don't mean to BM. I don't mean to sincerely BM. I love talking sort of behind the back shit. That's one of my favorite things. Like, oh, Siberian, get fucking toasted. Worst thing I could ever do is attack this guy. Worst thing I could ever do. Actually, one, two, three, four, five, six. Eh, you know, we could. It's fine. I'm almost out of cards. Ah, <sighs> I remember the rather slow paladin from way back. I remember that. Wasn't that the one that ran like double humility, double holy light, like <laughs> double Kodo? It was just a bullshit, never do anything deck. Just constantly deny. And then Jeskar Trueheart came out and I was like, oh, the very slow paladin will chip even more. 
Hi, sweetheart. How are you? Oh, good cat. Well played. All right, finally Sudoku. Oh, it's a nice stretchy. Oh! So many quests being completed. And even though I know it doesn't matter, I feel powerful. Violent, vile, juvenile. I will now forbidden heal my way to Victor. Anubi one says I kind of missed the King of Mare. That was a fun deck. Meta is a little too aggressive right now. Sweepers, sweepers are not in vogue at the moment. Oh my God, Despy Cat. Oh, I gotta clear some of this off for you. I gotta get a box back on the table. I love you, Despy. You're just my favorite cat in the whole world. Oh, I'm gonna take seven damage. Kind of sucks, but that's okay. Probably got a damn shot. Probably gonna trade. Hey, do you want? Do you want? This has coffee in it. I think she's only into dried coffee. Okay. Excuse me, sweetheart. There's a cattail in my way. Too important to clear it, right? for 20. Maybe Wicker Snatch Thump Knuckle. Could we, will we even be able to get that one up? This cat, man. This cat is so sweet. So, I mean, both these are both going to die next turn. I think probably Tarim is the best play here. Just knocking all my shit off. You just knock it all off. What's what's wrong? What you doing, huh? Little butthead. <laughs> Yuck. That's the one outcome that would that is like really bad. Unless we draw equality. Or not equality, I mean consecration. Good. Why don't we run the control decks? The important thing about control decks is efficiency, and if I can always set the situation up. Hi, Sheriff! <laughs> Alright, that's fine. That's fine. He deserved it. He deserved the win.
it's no problem. It's no problem. This is how the control decks go. This is how, this is how the control decks go, man. It's fine. It's fine. We're completing quests. Oh, sure. If you're in, you're in your little truck stop. She's in the office. Oh, Purvis, is there a good replacement for Wicker Flame Burn Bristle? Um, let's see here. You know, a, a, a cheap weapon. Rallying Blade is fine. Part of me wants to cut an Ivory Knight and put in a Rallying Blade as well. Um, Rallying Blade is completely and totally fine. We're against a Mage. Die, Mage. I'm gonna always keep that death sweet, sweet forbidden healing. <gasps> Doomsayer against Mage is amazing! It's, it's an insurance policy! Tar Creeper is totally fine here. Tar Creeper is great. Actually, maybe I should just cut an Ivory Knight and put in a Tar Creeper. That's probably significantly better. I'm going to do that. I'm going to absolutely do that. There's no reason I should do that. Should not do that, excuse me. That's actually, I think, strictly correct. 100% correct. Alright, let's see what he does. Primordial Glyph. So, we, we've confirmed that he's a mage. It's very unlikely that he's not a mage at this point in time. We know this because if you create a deck with Mage, you, you put 28 cards in, and it automatically adds in two Primordial Glyphs. That's kind of one of the cool mechanics that Blizzard has created in Hearthstone, is that each each class auto-includes two cards. You you put a Druid in there, boom, two Innervates, right there. Oops, 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 I don't even... Fuck. Shit. Fuck. We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to try again. We have many. I um I just bumped my mouse. That's it. It's really it's really quite painful. By bump I mean my I have these little prongs here on the bottom of my microphone. Like this. And you just move your mouse and crash right into it. Let me move my mouse pad over there. Let me think. So what do we wish to do? Oh, this is gonna be so good when I'm your entity. Hey, in your opinion, what are the auto-include cards in Paladin? You gotta pick one card that you always put in two copies of. Every single deck, no matter what. I would say it's True Silver Champion. Let's say 100% is True Silver Champion. This is just in the day. You just put them in. Always. Warlock, concede button. You put two of those in every Warlock deck. Two concede Excuse buttons. Excuse me, you are on fire. I want to cast this down. Kinda wanna run out of Doomsayer. I kinda wanna run out of Doomsayer. Kinda, kinda do. All right, kitten. All right, sweetheart. Get the get the hell out of the way. Uh, actually, I don't think I even need to do this yet. All right, what's happening in the game? All right, all right, honey. Oh God, I just I love you a lot. I just you're so curious. She's massive! Alright, Sarah. It's our Sarah Angel. I'm late. I'm late. I think that this is now time to do it in this order. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. This could be some kind of targeted spell. Hunter, what do you always put in two of? Probably Savannah High Mains, almost always. Wow. Alright. 
right, so... Oh my god, you're so cute. You just you just want to lie on my phone. Here, let me make a little room for you. Let's make a little snuggle spot. There you go. I'm going to move my wallet. Move that other mug. Move my contact solution. There you go. There's a nice here. And I'm going to put the phone there. You love phones. Yeah, she's happy now. Yeah. She loves sleeping on hard, flat surfaces. Like laptops and phones and iPads. Notebooks. Oh, she's got a little snuggle spot. God, I'm fucking obsessed with this cat, man. This cat is the most darling thing. I stay, I've been staying up late until like 2, 2.30 playing Dota. But uh, a lot of times I'm just tired. So... Justice. We have to be unbelievably careful about using this ever in this matchup because we don't want to spellbender it. Oh my god, you're my little animal companion. But sometimes around 1.30, 1.45, going to bed in like 45 minutes, but not long enough for a Dota game, you know, so so I'll just play string with this cat. We just play string for just hours and hours, and it's just so nice. Oh, the ghostly meow says, it's been six months since my little gray kitty died, and I miss her so much. Always makes me happy seeing Sheriff and Despy. That's nice. Alright, who wants to see some humor? You may have heard me say this previously, but this card is so good against Mage. Oh, you're gonna knock it off here? I'll catch it. Let me push it back this way. There you go. If I can run out Ragnaros Light Lord, like right now. <laughs> oh shit, this sucks for him. Twenty-seven from heaven. Guys, it's my birthday on Tuesday. What are you doing for my birthday? What are you going to be doing? An incredible discovery. Yeah, that's a bottle cap. That's for apple juice. <laughs> All right. So, we are 91% certain that this is a Spellbender. The menagerie is for Big draws, baby. Whoosh. Oh, whoosh. Oh, there's a picture of your little sweet cat. Oh. Oh, what a darling. Oh my god, her eyes are so gorgeous. Okay, so this is... Your entity. Follow the rule. Do not touch. So, if we want to do anything, we need to consecrate first and then forbidden healing. You want to cast a spell? I want to cast a spell. I love control paladin so much. I feel so. I feel tanky. That's really how I feel when I play Paladin. I feel tanky. I feel like I'm Sven from Dota 2 or Bristleback or some shit. I just keep getting in that ass, you know? Oh yeah, Tyrion's in the deck. See, I'm just gonna pop the counter spell right now. What? Hi, beautiful. I love you very much. Oh, look at her. She's just looking at me. Hi. Oh, she's so sweet. I love this fucking cat. Secrets. So we can kill a curator if there's somehow an additional mirror entity, yeah? Do 
fairy and says her eyes are so gorgeous. Us plebs only get to see her other eye. No, no, I was talking about an image linked in chat, not about not about my little Despy, who also has beautiful eyes. So that's probably a counter spell. Do not touch. Do not touch. Wow, so it really was an ice ice block, huh? Oh, it was Primordial Glyft, of course. Of course, of course, I should have been watchful for that. Completion. Paladin Mastery. So there are two classes of fool in the warrior domain. Do I keep this thing? I think I actually do keep it. There is the pirate warrior and the quest warrior. Both of them are assholes. Uh, but we're, we're, we're banging the doomsayer down just inst insta drops. Insta drops on the dooms. Insta dooms drops. Ugh. It's fine. It's fine. It's fucking fine, man. Probably this for later. I hate playing against Quest Warrior. I hate playing against Quest Warrior. I hate playing against Quest Warrior. I hate it. I hate it. Bad, 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 bad. No good, no fun. Awful, awful. Not very nice. Unnice, anti fun. Nope. Do not enjoy it. Not in the slightest. In any matchup, no, I don't like it. It's not interesting to me. It's not fun, it's not compelling, it's not cool. Speak to me. Damn it. Shh. Mmm. Alright. Let's go. Run this out right now. Run this out. Probably not. Go in. I can't stand these. I'm probably gonna have to save my Doomsayer for when I do some sort of a quality consecrate, then you can pop the Doomsayer down. Make him frown. Turn him down when he tries to ask you to go around town. In a way, that's good for us. In a way. In a lot of ways, it's bad for us. But, we can do this. Crunch down. Make him frown. Give this foolish man the runaround. Broken Stratos says, What do you think of the Necromancer for Diablo 3? You know what? I forgot that they were releasing the Necromancer. Can't actually curate her. Paradoxically, I cannot curate her on that turn. June twenty seventh. That's when I. That's my birthday. I was born. Came out of my mother on that day. That's not something you're allowed to say publicly. I mean, it's true. That's true for one hundred percent of people that were ever born, unless you were, I don't know, formed in the Genesis Chamber from Man of Steel. Actually, positive outcome for us. Ah! 
Battle Anger! Rage Draws! This deck seems so optimized. Ali Dada. So that way I can Drake whatever he winds up playing. Oh, I have some water here. Nice. Look at this. What in the hell is this doing here? What is this? A devil sore egg. What? You fucking what? Why, why is there a devil sore egg in a quest warrior deck? What now? Yeah, what now? What? Hmm. Why? What? Is this a quest Zoth warrior? Oh wait, he's at one out of seven. Wait, what the shit? Uh, wait, wait a goddamn minute there, young man. It's, it's a quest Zoth. How much does a squirming tentacle cost? Is that one? Wow. I miss explosive sheep so much. What a what a what a win card. No. Excuse me. But why? But like for what reason? Because now now this gives me all the opportunity in the world to poop on my opponent. So we still have a Hydrologist, a Kodo, and a Primordial Drake. So this will draw three, so we'll still overdraw if we run that puppy out. My jaw is on the floor right now. I am going to run out Ragnaros because I still have a Forbidden Healing in case he has Alexstrasza, which I, I would not surprise me if he did. I'm going to change my plan, though. Run out this guy. 4-9, feeling fine. I have a shield that's so divine. If you want to attack me, I'm a 4-9. Oops, I lied. But why now? Don't even. That was a good turn, though. I mean, I certainly played it like a god, but what is our opponent?
One dollar, his egg survives. Ship the dollar! Ship it! Send me your one dollar bills! You know what? Just subscribe. Just sub. You know what? That's the, that's the right way to do it. Cheer 100 bits, whatever you want to do. You owe me one dollar now. God, that's incredible. I think I want to just... I'm gonna keep the mega clear. I'm just gonna do very calm ass play. Gross. Disgusting. That's incredible. <laughs> hey! A getaway kid. Not running it yet. <laughs> That's such a... All right, well, okay. Listen, I'm gonna make... I'm just gonna start making $1 propositions. That's how we're gonna do it. That's how we're gonna... That's how, we're, that's how I am a business now. Like, whatever you do, do not subscribe or give me 100 bits unless I win it. Okay, that's... That we, we that would be unfair for me to just constantly grease your balls, right? That you Withhold it. Withhold it. Make me wait. I like the tease. Bagel Town says, if Day9 is monetizing his calls, then chat is going to get poor very soon. <laughs> Twister Nipple says, if you lose, you suddenly owe 7,000 people one dollar. That's high stakes for me. Wait, what the fuck just happened? Okay. No! Oh my god. Is he still at one? Yeah, look at that. for the sport guys. sick so great Diane observant says what's your words per minute uh like 180 or some shit I type man. I type baby you know remember that execute play well this is why I've been trying to clear the board oh, live insect value insect oh I love this lack of quest rogues er uh, Fireplume's heart, the reason it does not trigger off Nizoth is that it says play seven taunt minions instead of summon. Uh, play is specifically from the hand. Now, let me just inform you of the potential sickest thing that could ever happen right now. So, we do this, so we're gonna go down, but if we get a six mana spell, we heal up, and this guy can therefore only heal himself. Isn't that ridiculous? Boom. Back to full health. It's like nothing even happened. I should not have summoned this, because if this dies, then getaway Kodo goes off. Nearly sick play. Dot was close. You got me. <laughs> okay. Well, let's get him back out into the fight, you know. And given my predictive abilities, he's gonna heal the 4-3. I mean, it's just a 50-50 flip, right? It's not hard. 
We already know what's going to be happening. Now, you'll recall that we are playing against a quest warrior. So you don't have to give me a dollar. You don't have to give me a dollar for that one. I don't. I didn't earn your dollar at that point. <laughs> I'm feeling the Kodo. I'm feeling the Kodo here. Alright. Well, may as well keep the highest value minion. <laughs> yeah, let's get him huge. <laughs> Darn, I was wrong. I guess I'll keep Sweet Swag and Ragnaros out. Ah. Alright, now, math question. If we play Avenging Wrath, and he has only the one four up, what's the probability it dies? It's about like 68%, 68% or so. Ooh, oops, almost clicked it wrong. The battle. GG. It's an interesting question, Twister of Nipples. He says, do you think you could make it to Legend with an RNG-only deck? Maybe. Maybe so. Here, if I, I... I shouldn't say if, now that I'm playing good deck. When I hit 10, we'll go RNG only. Broken Stratus is Discover on Goro Legend deck. I, I built that Discover on Goro deck previously, and it was okay. It was actually okay. I don't know if it's a winner right now, but... Perhaps it's time to explore on Goro, you know. Satisfying every time. <coughs> ah! Oh, the sneezies. Oh, we got a rough case of the sneezies right now. Maybe I shouldn't have played that, because he's just going to scavenging hyena. I think, I, uh, I think it's an error. I think I actually just pass. I think I actually just pass right there. Well, sometimes you gotta walk into it, you know. So in this particular turn, I think that the play is, well... Yeah, this has gotta be right. Be a good RNG deck. I mean, it was just mage, right? Mage. Put in Tortolan Primalist and put in Cabal's Tomes. Yeah, I don't see a reason not to do that. I mean, it seems, it seems very fair. We lost, I think. I have to, I have to pop him in his little eyes.
think it's game over, man. Game over. Oh, I need to cut an Ivory Knight and put in a, um... Dreadman. Whatever his, whatever his name is. Tar Creeper. We, we almost are stable. We almost. You know, I th I really think the big mistake was just hero powering turn two. I think we should never have done that. I think that's an incredible mistake. Ah, I can't kill that one. Oof. Oh, woo. Kangar Creeptar. Out of my jungle. I'm gonna do that one so I can get him taunted up next turn. Now, if he if he's one of these hunters that runs animal bite, we're in trouble. But let's hope that he's not. <laughs> Equality. Shit. The victory is yours. Wait here. I mean, I guess it. I think that's it. Just one, just the one. Just the one, just a little change, just a pinch of a change. Axelary Power says, I wonder how many people here have no idea what Sean means when he calls Kill Command Animal Bite. That's, that's Kill Command. Kill Command Animal Bite. Same thing. Now, is this correct? Like, to do this? Maybe not. I think for me it's correct because I'm always gonna get there. Always, we're always gonna get a wild pyromancer when we need it, 100% of the time. Always. Yeah, I mean, I think an open the way gate mage. That has like nothing but random effects in there. Cards and spells coming from outside the class. Could be cool. Could be a cool one. I think it's absolutely correct to run out Stonehill Defender, because it's the most powerful nerd that ever lived. Sunkeeper Tarim. You know, I actually think that this is just strictly better because the probability of him having whole bunch of dudes get helped by that is it's close blood and plunder i am a blood and plunder so we're going to protect it against another 4 damage which is nice so i would like a mid costed one would be nice right there boom this is perfect a lot like you. My blade be thirsty. So sweet what I just did to him. That was very thoughtful of me to just destroy everything he had. Because, you know, the fewer things you have, the less burdened you are as a person. Yes. You know what's interesting? 
Stegodons. Don't really fucking care. Isn't that kind of weird? It's kind of a weird factoid you wouldn't have thought about. A pain be thirsty. It may very well be. What happens <laughs> next, the sly duck, is up to you. Are we pitching them both? So we'll take 6, go down to 11, heal, back up to 13. I think that seems good. For justice. Probably a noble sacrifice here will be ideal. Get away, Kodo. Because I'm just going to Ancient of Blossoms and then get away, Kodo. A 3-8 is just way better than a 4-6 that can heal. X marks the spot. Depending on what he has, depending on what he has, of course. Alright, so I'll just trade here. You know, it's probably better for me to just keep healing up. Well played. Well played. My, do I agree with that statement that I just made? Oh my god, that audio. So the way that we would lose is two mortal strikes. That's it. That's the way that we lose. And it might be reasonable for us to actually just sit and chill. Guarantee that that doesn't happen by continuously clearing his board. I think that's, I think that's actually the correct play. I think it would be incorrect for me to bash him down. You really gotta get to rank 10. I know that you're not here because you want to see a control paladin gradually grind its way to win after win. What you want to see is some utter bullshit. I know that that's part of why you're here, and I want to give that to you. I want to deliver that. Deliver that onto your, your sweet little face. I want to deliver it onto your face. That's really what I'm, I'm trying to get here. Uther versus Magni! I will fight with honor. All right, I think we're feeling good. I think I actually should keep the Aldor Peacekeeper against Warrior. Thank you. You want to play Beast Street, says to Tori Lunch Meat. Link it, man. I'm hard decision because like if he plays a fiery war axe right now plays a fiery war axe right now then all right it's fine taunt for seven okay there we go. Everything, everything's just panning out great. It's just really great. It's a good life I have. It's really wonderful. It's a really fantastic series of choices that have been supplied to me. No weapon. So he has an Arcanite Reaper. He's for sure got that. Uh, so we would expect him to play a Charger Man. I think definitely this. So we expect him to play a charger this turn, and then to what? Okay. Well, this is weird. I guess he has a whole bunch of weapon buffadoos or something happening there. This is significantly better. We may even get to spike ridge this. 
I mean, my, my presumption would have been that he has a, um... This is a nice card to put in here. My presumption is that he has an Arcanite Reaper. I don't really know what this does. Okay. Set up for the very likely Spike Ridge Steed on the following turn. Which is just insane for us. Okay. Will it blend? No way. Hey. Throw your lives into me. <laughs> Well, it's Shaman. Boink, dink, bonk. Feeling like we're going to win. We're going to streak our way up to infinity and beyond, right? I still think Yogg-Saron is actually just a ridiculously good card. <laughs> so we got to build a deck. Get that Yogg going, you know. Yogg him up. Yogg him in. Let me begin. Is there is there a non mage RNG focus deck? Oh my god, Anubi one says the pizza is ordered. That sounds good, man. I get some pizza. It's my vacation coming up, man. I gotta fuck my body up well, at least a little bit. Like not a lot, but it's like some. Like I don't know why that's so fun. I don't know why it's just like I wake up, I wake up. It's like nine thirty, and I'm like, I'm gonna. You know what I had this weekend? Belgian waffle with three eggs on top. Bacon, hot sauce, and a lefe at like 11.30 in the morning. <laughs> the value. So good. And you, you know how much bacon was on there? The entire pack. Do you realize how good that is? Do you realize how good that is? Do you know how... Uh, it's so good. It's so good. Mm. It's good. Damn, it was so sweet and so tasty. For justice. Was it as amazing as it sounds? Oh my god, it was so good. I cut half of it off and I put on agave maple syrup nectar. Mmm. Oh. It's super ridiculously sweet. I absolutely tanked like 90 minutes later. What? What do we have here? Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> I thought this rotated out. It's a flame wreath faceless. I mean, I have all the answers for it that I would ever need, but. Can I get a Nobel sacrifice? Hmm. Is so sweet. The battle. It's going to be shock tart. No maelstrom portal for you, my friend. I know. <laughs> Okay, that's fine. Uh, 
I actually should have traded the Murloc away because Hungry Crabs are in the better right now. It feels super good. It feels I have a positive experience with this deck. Ah. Uh. This is an interesting little deck he's got. This is actually not at all what I expected him to be bringing to the table. I'm gonna get away Kodor for sure. Lick my lips a little on that one. That's a very pleasing spike ridged steed. Alright, Shock Tart. Shock Tart's an amazing name. That is an absolutely exceptional name. Alright, we don't know what Shock Tart is, but he's insinuating that he's a druider. A druider. Fuck. Um, a, j a jade. A jady guy. He's, he's the druider druider. The DIY druid guy. So I'm going to do this because what I anticipate will happen is that he'll go, Oh shit, that's a dragon. Let me use my hex. He might also not have hex. Good. I don't indeed want hex on my spike ridge steel. Should I wait a turn? Shall I wait a turn? Depends. We'll see. Wicker Snatch Barnaman. This is not the one that was discovered, so I'm just gonna bang that guy down. Grunkalunga says, you know shock tarts are candy, right? No, I didn't know that. I thought this was a guy that just merged two interesting concepts together to form himself. Sort of like reverse meiosis. God, man, I really want to get a Lefe now. Lefe sounds really good. I have this problem, though. I, I don't really want to go have a Lefe tonight, because what I actually am probably going to do this evening is... Play Dota. Yep, remember that? Yeah, that's... Uh-huh. Yeah, that's right. That is correct. Okay, well. I'm gonna wait. Okay. The big thing that we need to ensure we keep stuff alive for is the big... Evolve and or devolve turn. Look at the improvement. Look at the market improvement in that board state. I mean, there's no Doomsayer, but we have Nat Pagel. We got a delicious, dirty rat. It's fine. That's what you get when you try to try try to trade. All right. I must remain hidden to the Alright guys, it's not a dragon. Not a doctor. That's incredible. Yeah, no. Oh, yes. Very well. <laughs> oh, man. We have a... We, we put Nat... Nat is a fish on a pole held by Nat Pagel on a Spike Ridge team. Oh, the club can even handle me right now. That's incredible. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I'm actually just in, like, stunningly good Justice. good shape right now. This is... Howdy. I mean, I guess this first. I mean... Jesus. Do I want Sunkeeper? Do I want Tyrion? I think I just want Tyrion. I just want to be able to bang him. 
god. Um, how many sweeper options do I have left? I think I think against this particular deck, we want to make sure we have lots of equalities as his jades keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Yeah, I think Lefe has ruined other beers for me now because I just don't buy anything else. I just, anytime I'm at the store, I'm like, well, I could get that or I could get this Lefe over here. I'm like, ah, it's just... It's a hard cast, hard run. Okay, so let's do some... This is good. Maybe we'll we get some IPAs. Maybe we'll get some stone IPAs tonight. Stone IPA is super solid. Because there's like, okay, so there's like way too populous cheapo beer, which is like your Bud Lights, your Miller Lights, McLobe Ultra, your Coronas, all this. All this. Was a mistake. For the major to battle, put your faith in the light. I'll just have the ash brand. Is it like Ticcati? There's like Pap's Blue Ribbon, like gas station beer. There's the extreme high end, the luxury shit, which is great. I like I like one or two rungs up from the the other stuff. Like there's just this. Lucky is day nine. So lucky. Um, I like those like one or two rung up beers you, that, that is easy to get, but is a little more expensive and is really nice. So that's like Lefe Stone IPA. It's just excellent. Dogfish Head Raging Bitch IPA is great. Delirium Tremens Golden Drock. Fin de Monde. Easily obtainable at your local grocery store. Ragnaros might live. No. He ain't living today. For justice. It's kind of why I let this guy die earlier. I just don't have enough mana over the course of my next like eight turns to actually play everything. So that's incredible. Russian Imperials. Oh my gosh, I forgot about the Stone Russian Imperial Stout. Such a good stout. The what you did not have happen what you wanted to have happen, my friend. That poor guy. That poor man. Golems are a girl's best friend. Blue moon. Oh. I absolutely love me some blue moon. So if I hit this. Don't test me, child. Then I hit this. And then I play 
this, and then I play this, and then I do that! So he's got uh, two more in there. He's got two more level ups of the jades. Is that right? Decks of cards says I need beer and pizza. Beer and pizza sounds good. Sounds good, dude. Yes. Bam, 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 bam. Feels so good. Feels so satisfying. It's electrifying. All right. So here's 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 we're not yet gonna switch. We're gonna switch once we hit. <coughs> Excuse me. Once we lose. Once we hit a loss. I love this paladin. This is my favorite paladin. Oh, oh, my favorite paladin. Oh, oh you found me. We're open all night. Ah. Uh, yes. Yes. Oh, the suggestion to put the tar creeper in here was like fantastic. Oh, oh, primal fin. This is correct. If he runs out, let's say, a blood sail corsair to get patches and one more thing, that's one, two, three sets of damage, and then he'll play a flame tongue, and that's four, five, six, seven, which is enough to kill it. So I want to just clear this whole shabazz off. His totem looks so sad. It's so cute and grumpy. Out of my jungle. That's slightly painful, but I, I have two drakes. I don't need draw. I need to not die. Right, that's that's the issue at hand. For justice. And I mean, I'm gonna play it out, out on this turn. So we have an answer to his uh, big dudes, his five fives, his zero mana five fives. Consecration on this turn. Yes! Brother Thelonious is awesome, Belgium. I love Brother Thelonious. Brother Thelonious is St. Bernardus 12. Love it, love it. care if it rips nerds out of his deck now. I'm also going to be very, very cautious about just equality consecrating, just dishing that out right away. Hello, gentlemen. Welcome. Welcome. It's good to have you. It's good to have you. He might just try to evolve right now, which would be ideal.
M-M-A-N-G-G. -G. Says, do you get any good beer from the Midwest out in California, like Central Waters, Bells, Founders? I've never even heard of those, so I, I suppose the answer is no. Tonight, a tale of... Evolve, 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 evolve. Mega bear down in a sec here. Last warning. Mega bear! I can trade there, it's fine, I don't care. This is a good hand to have against someone who likely has evolve. It's a good hand to have. It's good. Whoosh. Oh, that just kind of stinks. It's fine though, I'll go pop pop. Trade away and save your life. Um, let's see here. So I want to kill like this and like that, and then do this and this, and just continue to summon the army of 1 1s. Gosh, I'm so tanky. I am the bristleback of Snarfstone. God, I love bristleback so damn much. Oh, I had this awesome game last night where there was, our lane was, it was Abaddon Bristleback in the off lane against Slark Darkseer. Oh my god, we, we the light killed death. both of them twice in the first three minutes or so. It's gonna be. So we're going to go clear this, hit this once, hit this once, deal three damage here, and drag it. board a little more before I do anything. This is a good single target counter. This is a good lots of dudes counter. Um, so I'm just going to continue to build and see if he does some sort of dramatic maneuver. It's not dramatic. It's just very not dramatic. So now I believe it is a completely fine time to administer a little bit of pain. Uh, you know, running one equality down, I don't think it's bad at all. It's gonna be fine. The only thing that, like, kinda hurts a little bit is if he does Doppelganger Evolve, but I think we've already shut him down sufficiently, so. And I'm gonna just Kodo, Kodo, Kodo. Double Kodo, no problem. Bam, bam! We disregard Aya. Probably get Avenging Arrows or some stuff. Alright, let's discover a minion. Yeah. Reporting for duty. Let's kill. Let's look at this. Got a 6 3 of charge, baby. <laughs> Patches! What a pleasure to see you. Let's 
daisy daisies. Here's we're gonna win with some bullshit. <laughs> That's me right now. Ah, damn! I love Control Paladin. Give me that. Give me that bonus streak. Meek shall inherit the earth. I'll inherit the earth. I'm the Meek. Accept lots of damage, clear the whole damn board. I present to you a winning play. Feels good. Feels good to already have the entire game worked out this early on. Um, Alanthea. Oh my god. So, most of these decks are running Bloodlust, but the real question is how fast is his deck? And my presumption would already be not very fast, because a lot of the super, like, just beat you to death as quickly as possible decks are throwing down Fireflies and Bloodsail Corsairs early on. Those are kind of phased out of fashion, though. Mmm, yes. Oh, baby, one more. Yeah, two bones are better than one. God, I'm childish. Um... on my board. So, at this point in time, I would surmise that it's one of those jadey men. Jade has become a little bit popular. There's a lot of uh, priests out there. A, a lot of more mid-rangey or slower control ish ones, because quest rogues are just not nearly as prevalent as they once were, which is giving room for not pure control decks to have a huge rise, but more so those like a priest that's about to pop off with Divine Spirit Inner Fire at any point in time. It's permitted room for Jade decks to run some of their thicker Jades, instead of just trying to rush everything down. Now I think would be a fine time to run down a Doomsayer. There is little time. I think a reasonable decision for him, yeah. The end is coming! Out of my jungle! I do want it this time. Can't touch this! Colonel Aquarius says, hey, Denon, love you in the stream, but Control Pally is my worst nightmare. As a struggling handlock, it hurts me to see you play this. Well, first of all, let me just state. Ha 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 Die. Die, handlock scum. But um, at the same time, handlock really is having a hard time. I think our opponent completely messed up, unless he has a lightning bolt. He does. Okay. Um, but I, I think more, more appropriately, ooh. Is this an okay time to a quality consecrate? It feels, it feels like no. It feels like it's the wrong time to do this. I wonder. Here's what I think is going to happen. I'm going to do this. I'm just going to use the Consecration, which I'm happy to use a little liberally. We can accept some damage, but what I expect will happen is that... Oh, shit. He overloaded. That's right. I surmise that he has the Evolve combo in hand. Balls. Balls. 
question is, how do we deal with that? I think this is the play. We just do this, we do this, and then we throw this out, and then next turn we play Curator. Draw three. I think one of the absolute best aspects of Polish in this game is the fact that you can play things as quickly as you want and all the animations keep going while the resolutions happen. That's like some pretty fucking dope stuff, man. So now, we don't have the equality necessarily for his huge evolve play, but we're going to have a little bit more meat. The better to meet you with. Wiggling in my chair. There's a gin card right there. Alright, so I'm just gonna run out the little boys, see what happens. What are you, a hydrologist? What is this? Feels amazing. Feels really amazing. Let's get away this. Don't dab no, it was, it was hard for me. It was hard for me too. I don't want I don't want to be that guy. If I ever am that guy, I'll cry. This is a good time for a lizard man, yeah. Good time for lizard men. I can't super rely on getaway kodos, but you know it's fine. It's fine. Warriors come out to play. By the way, guys. Swag and rag and light lord. No dabbing. I hate dabbing. I can't stand dabbing. This this is the dumbest shit ever. You look like a Power Ranger who's embarrassed about it. My God. There's nothing wrong with being a Power Ranger. Have you met my friend, sir? Surprise! Oh, it doesn't even matter that the joke is stupid. We shit on him. Bam. Oh, I fucking suck. I suck. I suck. God, I said a stupid joke. I got a no. Ah. Oh. God. Damn it. Fuck. God. Shit. Ugh. Mm. Damn it. No, don't even say it to me. Can't handle looking at chat right now. Sucks. Believe this shit. Ugh. Is there any way for me to pop that?
play this one first. No, it doesn't seem good at all. Oh, yuck. Gross. Does seem wasteful as shit, though, man. Fuck. Move quickly. You like to play with fire? Follow the rule. Did this in an order that deals a little damage to all my guys. But I had to. Had to do it. I, Lanthia. Good. Bum bum. Bum bum. Whoa, whoa. Meow, meow, meow. Oh my god, it's a tech card. Tech cards, no. Alright. Close. I almost cooked all my guys. Nice, guys. Really nice. Now if I draw my Drake or my Consecrate, I can poop on him. Bring it on. You know the temptation is too great. You know the temptation is too much for you. I know you can't even handle it right now. Hey, Ilanthia. What self-targeting spell? I don't know what the rules are for... Spirit Echo is sick as hell, though. I guess I'm saving my equality for that now. I mean, I'm gonna get another Sunkeeper to rim, which is nice. It's just a cool play, dude. It's just like a really cool play. So this is the fives, so he'll still be a five mana five five. If I go pop and pop, right? No problem. Just pop it in. Okay, so he has some expensive JD guys, but he can't quite play all of them all at once. We got a real match, man. That Spirit Echo was sick. So he's not actually an Evolver. He is a value Jade guy. That's a really cool deck. Whoa, whoa! Can we get an equality? Equality on the floor. The five mana five five, and I think a six mana six six in his hand. That's such a cool way to get additional jade activators, you know. You know. Well, I think I obviously have to kill this. Okay, so I think this is very clearly what we do. I think this is a lot of value, and we need value right now. I think we play this, and some of the... Th this sucks, but, you know, outside of this one, I gotta stop naming cards, man. Healing himself on me is fine. Because if he heals himself, obviously that's good for the board. If he heals me, that's good for Tyrion when I get my weapon up.
Goodbye, Ragnaros. It was nice knowing you. This game is this is a really interesting game. There's one of his big nerds. Let the pain speak to me. How does he want to do this? He's got two cards in hand. Oh. This is a very interesting little game here. We have some just incredible power left in the deck. Only only Tar Creeper is a slightly painful draw. Everything else is actually quite nice. See what he does. What is it that he doth do? Meow. I mean, I think he goes like pop, pop, like that, I think. Pops with his two little dudes. And then he's gonna do that, and he's gonna Ash bring it. So that's not the best one, but I think we have a play that is clear. Right, we do this. We pop this down. Still have true silvers in the deck, so that's okay. I'm hoping for low rolls. High rolls across the board. That that's gonna be hard to come back from. That's that's a little that's a little tough to win against. God, dude, you know the reason he's able to like pull this game off right now is that sick spirit echo. That's so cool. He might have a Devolve or a Hex in there, but, you know. If he does, then GG. Dude, I'm so happy if we lose, because we lost to a guy that ran Spirit Echo, interestingly, in a Jade deck. Was able to activate his tech card in the Acidic Swampoos two times. Well, he, he hasn't he hasn't done it yet, which is nice. Follow the rule. So I'm never going to have a better target for this, so I may as well just kill it now. See how sick that is? We even maximized the chance that it didn't happen, and it still happened. Man, I really, really need that equality. Oof. Well, fuck. Damn it. Shit! All right. That was a super fucking cool deck that he had. I mean, it's a Jade Shaman, but Jade Shaman Spirit Echo? Oh, yes, please. Uh... RNG... So we're gonna add some ram spells to our hand. 
I mean, we gotta do this. Uh, where are the other... Okay, oh, yeah, may as well get these in here. I think it's slightly too weak for my purposes. Where's the Tortolan? Oops. Yeah, we gotta we gotta create this guy. I want at least one guy in here that does that. Alright, let's see here. Cabal Courier, I think is good. I mean, do we want do we want only random effects in here? Do we want only random effects? We gotta be a little careful. We gotta be a little careful here, you know. Well, let me actually let's actually just look and see. This is just not good enough. This is even this is even beneath me. Okay, so if we if we did something like this, how how do we even make this deck work, right? How do we? What's what's the way in which we make this work? Like, uh, we're gonna need two of these and one of these. Archaeologist. We need this lady in here. Hmm. Probably do need some frost bolts. It seems it seems a little unwise to not include into the deck. Do we want some Medivh's valets in here? How do we how do we actually want to finish? What's our finishing move? What's our finishing move? Hmm. No. We could get all the giants in here. We we right now die pretty quickly, so we need to figure out a way to not make that happen. Whoops. We don't even have doomsayers in here, man. I mean, this looks terrible. Let's, let's give it a shot. I think I want a second volcanic in here. I mean, this certainly doesn't look incredibly stable. We could actually cut open the way gate as well. But why the fuck would I do that? All right. Now here's what I'm gonna do. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use a restroom. We're gonna take. It's gonna be literally a two-minute break because I have nothing else to do except use a restroom. So just stay here. Just hang out here. 